congratulations on both films, which I'll talk to you about very, very, very shortly. Um, first off, In the Earth, working with Ben Wheatley, I can imagine it's a joy anyway because he's so distinctive, but the fact that you guys had to do it through COVID and all the other stuff going on, it must be such a film, not just to get nominated, but to have the film in the can and people have been able to see it. I mean, it was such a surprise, I guess, for everyone. Um, it was one of those, those movies, I think, that was created spontaneously. I know that Ben obviously takes time with his work and it, it comes from him and it's his vision, so there was a lot of investment there. But I think for all of us, we didn't really know what we were making. You know, we were in a forest, we were wearing masks, and uh, we just threw ourselves in. And the fact that it's turned out to be something that people are really embracing and sort of recognizing as a, something they can relate to is, is just beautiful. It feels like a really, really wonderful thing. I'm sure I'm not the only person to say this to you. I'm sure a lot of people would say it if they saw you, but your face on that poster with your eyes whited out, I think it's creeped everybody out on the tube, I have to say. Have you have you got one of those posters at home? I don't have one of those posters at home, no, but I, maybe I should get one. Maybe I should. I'll be like, guests, hello, welcome, my face. <laughs> it sets up the film pretty well. On the other side, Ali and Ava, which is a wonderful, wonderful film. It's so lovely. You're part of that ensemble as well. What was it like going from In the Earth with Ben Wheatley to Ellie and Ava with Cleo Barnard? Because I imagine the two experiences were very different, but also both very rewarding in their ways. Yeah, 100%. I mean, Cleo and Ben, I mean, they're both such wonderful directors that they work in very different ways, but it's rewarding as an actor to be able to have communication with the director and, and always feel safe. Uh, and what I mean by safe is, is just the ability to just go to places emotionally. And um, both of them do that wonderfully. They give you that space to play. Um, going from In the Earth, I guess there was this sort of horror genre vibe that was everybody was talking about um, but for me I sort of looked at both pieces as a psychological journey that was for that one character that I was I was to play so in some ways they're very similar even though they're completely different um, but Kaio is fantastic and Ali and Ava is a, is a love story um, really uh, and a love letter to Bradford which I really enjoyed doing because it sort of felt very UK proud so yeah, yeah. Obviously you've been nominated tonight, congratulations. Uh, what was your reaction when you found out and what, what do you hope you maybe gain from, from this, even if you even if you don't win? It's a, it's a great stepping stone, I can imagine. 100%, yeah. I mean, it, it was kind of funny. I found out um, that I was shortlisted when I was, I was shooting something in Scotland. I was in a wetsuit just being dumped in very cold water. And uh, yeah, I had a little cry because I was just like, wow, that's like so crazy. That And for this film specifically in the earth, just like I said, for it to be getting the recognition that I don't think any of us expected. Um, yeah, I mean, what would it mean? It would mean a lot, you know, but even if I don't win, I think just being here, speaking to you, it's a great honor and privilege, so. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Is that from the Goonies? Nice.